The new Dongfeng Nami 01 EV hatch is based on Dongfeng's Quantum Architecture S3 platform, and it is exclusively available in a front-mounted permanent magnet synchronous e-motor setup good for 70 kilowatts, or 94 horsepower, and 118 lbft of torque, claiming an ambitious seeming top speed of 87 miles per hour. So, it's not exactly the high-speed highway cruiser your average American commuter is probably looking for, to be fair. Prices do start at $10,530, and the jump to $14,750 only grants more range, not more power. Chinese market customers have the choice of 31.5 and 42.3 kWh LFP battery packs that offer either up to 205 or 267 miles of claimed range on the Chinese efficiency test cycle. Hello everyone, welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for supporting us from all over the world. Subscribe to know more about the electric mobility. We provide the most recent and updated news every day. The NAMI 01 design clearly takes inspiration from the latest smart brand's compact lineup look, with organic and flowing lines and surfaces and bend into one another. There's a theme of interruption, with the fascia stabbing into the headlights, split taillight units, and a window profile that cuts off the rear pillar. Note the premium seeming frameless door treatment and hidden door handles. The charging door is located over the front right wheel, often considered the safest location to keep it secure in the event of damage to the vehicle or a crash. Two different two-tone paint applications are available, with five total different colorways for the exterior. Inside, there's mostly black with either white or gray accents available, with a hefty OTA-capable 12.8-inch touchscreen hovering over the dashboard coupled to a 5-inch driver display. The car also comes standard with a host of level 2 driver assistance tech, including blind spot monitoring, remote and autonomous parking, forward collision warning, lane keep assist, traffic sign recognition, and adaptive cruise control. Front passengers can enjoy a one-button lie-flat mode, likely to relax while charging, as well as a wireless phone charging pad and 32-color ambient lighting. It's like a pocket-sized Mercedes in there, or at least, that's what they'd want you to think. Dongfeng reportedly has plans to start selling its new NAMI brand in Europe later this year or next year, though it's expected that the starting price will jump significantly, possibly to the equivalent of around $28,000. Back in August, the company also claimed that the platform the NAMI 01 is based on would eventually be compatible with emerging solid-state battery technology one day. The Chinese market pricing is a consequence of localized production and materials sourcing, and no cross-border taxes or fees, which would quickly swell once the NAMI shipped to a different market. As for the US market, there's likely zero chance of this car, or brand, or automaker, coming here, at least in the near term. The rumored European market adoption already shows what importing the car to a different market will do to the price tag, and without local manufacturing or materials sourcing, the car wouldn't be eligible for any US government tax credits regardless of whether or not it had some sort of inflated import price. Then there's the issue of what the consumer wants, while many try to argue there's dwindling or lacking demand for compact EVs in the US, sales of the popular Chevy Bolt hatch and EUV prove a model like the NAMI could be marketable though it's more likely the Bolt's extensive US service network would be missed by the NAMI owner. All that to say that the Chinese automotive manufacturing base is aware of the cash cow that is the North American market, and has begun planting seeds for an expansive future in Mexico and Canada so far thanks for watching.